We did a sample throughout the entire Georgetown whereby we sampled roughly 700 customers and out of that approximately 60% of those customers were found illegally reconnecting to GWI's network. Because customers are illegally reconnecting to our network, it causes a disruption which resulted in a loss of pressure. And not only that, it's a loss in revenue the company is being faced with. So because of the fact that we're losing revenue as a company, it affects our ability and our capability rather to source chemicals to treat water because at the end of the day, water is life. And if we don't distribute quality water to WHO standard, it will cause numerous health implications. Currently, we are in Queenstown right now, and we are planning to venture out into the different wards, ranging from Starbrook, Albertong, Charlestown, and the list goes on. Before customers are disconnected, they have 28 days to come in and either clear their balance. If customers can't afford to pay all the money at one time, we offer a wallet-friendly payment plan whereby they can come in and pay part of the outstanding balance and we can give them a workable plan whereby they can pay it in installments. So if customers still don't come in from them, we try to reach out to them we do various PR activities. We try to call customers. We, get, we, we exhaust all opportunities just to get customers to come in. So disconnection service removal from GWI is our total last resort. So after customer services are removed, they have the option to come in, pay for a reinstallation, which costs a total of 20,000 Guyana dollars in addition to their bill. So irrespective of their commercial, their domestic, their industrial, if you owe us, if we try reaching out to you and if that is futile, we then look to disconnect and if breach of policy in terms of the days, we'll then go to removal.